Hello, my name is Maria from MathMammoth.com. In this lesson we are studying simple interest. And first, a word about interest. What is interest? Let's say that you put some money into a bank, into a bank account. And then at a later time you withdraw it. Now the bank is going to pay you a little bit for just keeping the money in the bank. And that money is called the interest. It also works if you borrow money from the bank. You borrow a certain amount, but you have to pay back a li little bit more than that. And the little bit more, or it could be quite a bit more, the amount that you pay more is the interest. Now, interest is usually given as a percentage of the basic amount, which is called the principal. Now let's look at some examples. Let's say that I invest $200 for a year with a 5% interest rate. This I invest means that I put it into the bank, okay, basically. To calculate the interest, I simply calculate 5% of the $200, 5% of the principal. So the interest is 5% of the $200. Now I can use mental math here very easily because 10% of 200 would be $20 and 5% of that is just half of that so it is $10. This will be $10. But I want to also write this expression here using decimals. Okay, 5% as a decimal would be 0 0.05 five hundredths. The of is times multiplication and then we have the 200 here, $200. And so this, if you multiply this, it would give you $10. Now how much will I get back when I withdraw my principal from the bank? I get the original $200 plus the interest, $10. So I withdraw $210. Now let's take the same example I invest $200, but for two years. And the interest rate is the same, 5%. In this case, we simply multiply the interest by two. In the previous problem, the interest was for one year. Now it is for two years. And so we get that times two. We have two times. And then the interest rate, which was 5%, times the principal amount, which was $200. And we already figured out that this was $10, so two times that would be $20. So if I leave my money in the bank for two years, then after that I can withdraw the principal plus the interest, $220. In this example, we have $5,000 being invested for three years and the interest rate is 7%. Basically what I need to do is calculate 7% of $5,000. That's the interest for one year. And then go that times three because the time is three years. Let me write that using decimals. I have the 7% of 5000 $5,000. That would be the interest for one year, but then I go that times three, okay? And now you can use a calculator and you should get $1,050. And then I will withdraw the principal plus the interest. So after three years, I get out $6,050. We can write this as a formula, which is here that the interest is the principal amount P times the interest rate, R is the rate, times the time, T is the time. I equals PRT, and you should memorize this little formula, okay? So we always multiply the interest rate times the principal times the time in whichever order you want to multiply them. And then the total to withdraw from the bank, or the total to pay back to the bank in case of a loan, would be your principal amount plus the interest. Now let's look at this next example. You invest $800 for 7 months and the monthly rate is 1.5%. Now 
Notice this time we don't have a yearly interest rate, but a monthly interest rate. But it works the same way. We need to calculate 1.5% of the principal and then go that times 7 months. In essence, we again multiply these three numbers. The formula still works. The interest is PRT. Multiply those three numbers. So we have our principal, $800 times the rate, which is 1.5%, but I need to write it as a decimal here, times the time, which is 7. Of course, you can multiply these in any order. And then use a calculator to get $84. And then how much will you withdraw? You add the principal and the interest you will withdraw, $884. Over here, there's a $3,000 loan for seven months, and the annual interest is 9%. Now notice something important here. It says seven months, and yet the interest is given as annual interest, which means yearly interest, okay? In this case, we cannot simply multiply these three numbers because the time here and the time here are different. What we need to do is either change this time to years, seven months given as so many years, which it is a fractional part of a year, or change the interest rate to a monthly interest. And now if you take a yearly interest and convert it into a monthly interest, all you do is divide that by 12. So actually, whether you want to convert this to years or this to monthly interest, all that happens is a division by 12. Let's write it here. The interest is PRT, which is 3000 times our interest rate, which is 9%. I'm going to write it as 9% annual interest rate, and then I'm going to change this to years. Now, seven months is less than a year, it's a fractional part of a year, and it is seven twelfths of a year, right? And now we use a calculator again, you would go, you would go 3000 times 0 0.09 times 7, and then divide that by 12. And we get 157.50. Dollars. And this is a loan, so what you will pay back to the bank is your original principal amount plus this interest. So you will pay back $3,157.50. In this last example, I want you to try to figure it out yourself. Get your calculator ready, okay? And try to figure out the interest and the total to pay. This is again a loan, okay? All right, this is a simple situation. We have a yearly interest here and years here and the principal here. So the interest is P R T, $40,000 times the interest rate as a decimal, 0 0.0525 times the time 12, okay? And that should give you 25,200. That's quite a bit of interest to pay, right? But it is because it is such a long time period here. So the total to pay is now the total of these. You have to pay back to the bank $65,200. Okay? Did you get the same? Hope so. We're all done with this lesson.